What is good family? Your boy is back with another video and today we are talking real estate. We're getting in the weeds of real estate. We're talking about how parabolic the prices have gotten. We're also going to talk about different strategies on how to prepare and save for a potential real estate investment. Let's get into the vid. Okay guys, it is no surprise that the real estate market has been going crazy in terms of prices. We're seeing astronomical new prices with inflation and low interest rates being all recipe for that reason. It's gone so bad that Canada has got the second most overvalued real estate market in the world and the US is in and around 10th place. You know, today there is a massive difference in household income relative to these real estate prices. Going back to the growth, we've seen in the past couple of years that the real estate prices have grown 30 to 42% faster than that of household income. These are huge gaps that are now preventing you know, new buyers, that are preventing folks from getting into the housing market because of the price. That's, that's pretty scary. Like what's gonna happen in five years? Are folks going to be able to afford these astronomical prices? You know, today, there is still some affordability because interest rates are so low, but what happens when these interest rates rise? How is affordability going to look then? I don't know, but honestly, I'm not excited to find out. So it is what it is. You know, the fact that the prices are this high, we're here, we're there, we get it, it's there. But like, what can we do? What can we do about it? And so all we can really do at this point is, is plan, plan ahead, set goals up, budget accordingly, budget to a goal, okay? So if we need a down payment of 100K for this down payment, maybe the property is 500K in value. So we need 100K. How much do you have now? How much are you saving per month? Are you staying frugal? That is the only way for you to hit that number is staying frugal, putting the plan on paper and you know going for that goal. Without a plan in place, and without frugality to guide that principle, you're gonna be left always trying to figure out how to get that household. So guys, are you buying a home? Are you saving up? Are you staying frugal? Guys, let me know down below. And as always, like and subscribe and all the best. Peace.